In this video, we're going to talk about how to deploy your R application with R, with Shiny. So, we will understand what is Shiny and what you have been doing is creating data pattern analysis, predictions, clustering, decision trees in R in the previous video. It's, a, it's now time to let the users know what your application looks like and the users will not have any understanding on R. Users would just be interacting with your web application, which I'm going to show you how to build it using Shiny. So what is Shiny in the first place? It's an open source R package, which combines the computational power of R and creates an interactive application. It provides a framework for building web applications and it does not require any HTML, CSS, or JavaScript knowledge. It's all inbuilt. So you can create or code in Shiny, but in the background, an HTML or CSS would be generated based on what the code you have written. And it also enables standalone apps on a web page to be able to use R as a and programming engine behind it. So let's see the architecture of Shiny and R interactions. So you have a data source and you would create an R application like the machine learning algorithms which you have learned in the previous videos. Then you will have Shiny library. You have to, it's a, it's a package. So basically you have to install and download the package and then uh, download and install the package and then uh, load it in the library before you can run any applications and then you create web interactive applications. If you look from a different perspective, a Shiny application is a combination of a UI code which is provided by the Shiny library and the server code which is R. So sh a Shiny application essentially has two parts, a UI and server. You're going to see now the components, the coding components. To use the Shiny, you have to initiate the library. Library name is Shiny. There are two components of the code as we discussed the last time, UI and the server. You can create a single application, app.r, with both of these UI and server codes. Or you can have two separate R files one with ui.r and other with server.r. It depends. However you want to do it, both the methods are absolutely fine. So this is how you would write the code and I'm going to show you by running this code. So you have library shiny, ui fluid page. This is the basic syntax and then server function input and output. All the R code you would write here. Any logic, algorithm, finding the patterns in data, clustering, everything you're going to write in this section and whatever needs to be displayed on the web page, it would go here. So UI is user interface. Anything which is related to the interactivity or the look and feel of the dashboard is going to be here and anything which is some R code behind it or finding histograms, box plots, charts, graphs, predictions, all would go here. And then you would initiate the app, Shiny app using UI and the server. Now let's do a sample basic. And instead of UI, I'm going to write fluid page. This is machine learning do it yourself. I'm not adding any R logic, nothing. I'm just going to display this piece. So let's do that. I'm going to show you how to write this piece of code and be able to run this and render this page. In the R Studio, go to File, New, R Script, and not R Script, I'm sorry. Go to File, New, and Shiny Web App, this one and give an app name and 
BDCS app. You want to create a single file which is app.r or multiple files using ui.r and server.r. So for now I'm just going to use app.r as a single file and say create. It would give you a basic code. We will go through this code later but I'm going to replace this with the code which we had understood. So library shiny page does it look like it likes the there you go so library shiny page load the library then UI fluid page there is no function for the server and load the shiny app let's run the app and see what it is there you go so it just shows but there are multiple things to notice you can see it's a web localhost thing 127.0.01 and 7611. So this application is using 7611 port. You can open it browser in browser at it also. There you go, machine learning do it yourself. And in the background you would see that it's listening on HTTP this port. That means running as a shiny app enables hosting your web applications you can start it using this button and it it's back again you can run the app so in the next video we're going to talk about in details of how to enhance your shiny application and we'll build our first shiny application thank you for watching